there's another group of uh, museum replicas that have arrived. Um, I'll start with the Colombian ancient astronaut. This is quite popular for the uh, TV series Ancient Aliens for some reason. Um, I'm sure it's Colombian. I'm not sure which museum it isn't just yet, but it will be verified. Very strange uh, uh, outfit, obviously not natural for ancient Colombian, especially with these little bits around the edge. Are these bolts? Some kind of uh, astronaut helmet type visory cover and a belt, but the ballooning type legs and and the arms and these rib joints suggest the typical sort of ancient astronaut type uh, outfit, I would say. So this is the first one to become available. The Anunnaki, Sumerian, very strange face, elongated head. Um, strange thing that he's holding, I couldn't say what it is, it is obviously a male. But uh, what's interesting here is the very broad shoulders, elongated head, very, very large eyes. Would they create this sort of idea or have they seen something? Something like this. Um, these could be like eyes all around their body, according to like the Ezekiel text. They speak of these ancient astronauts with eyes all over their bodies. Some sort of buttons or... Who knows? That's the male Anunnaki. There's a duplicate combination pair, the female Anunnaki with child. Strange head dress covering the top part of the elongated head. Even more accentuated eyes. This museum piece was put to piece, uh, pieces that have been put together like a puzzle. You can see the joints. And uh, emphasis on the eyes here for this particular artist. I'm sure they're done by different people at different times. My personal opinion is these are children's toys. They were so inspired by these visitors that came from the sky. They made them for the children as dolls, perhaps. Why else would they make something like this? I don't believe they would have put this as an ornament in a little room. They would have, it would have been much bigger. This is very small. This is the actual size of it. The most important part I have to show is this massive... I'm going to put it right down because it's so big. Leave it on the black cloth. Let's zoom in a bit to get the angle right. I need to hold it a bit closer, I think. I'm going to go through the bits and pieces on it. First things, obviously, the Pleiades. Martin Molnagop of Hungary actually found this seal in a museum. It's in the Louvre Museum in, in Paris. Uh, pretty interesting thing here. We have the typical four things that appear on the seals. Pleiades, a crescent, a star, and the wing disc. Those four things seem to be the common tradition. So in, in, in um, statistics, in the value of statistics, I'd say that's still the same theme as what I proposed in my book, which is Pleiades, a world in crescent. The flying disc is the means to get you, and obviously the star. So it's the star that goes with the area near the Pleiades. Remember, this is a scroll seal. That side joins in again with this side. So the star could be shown next to the Pleiades as the scroll seal unrolls. There's a lot in this picture. This entity standing here is supposed to be a thunder god holding, um, it's called a Vajra. It's a strange device that is seen by god deities all around the world, holding them, um, suggesting they're opening some sort of portal or stargate. I believe in this case we have the portal stargate opening here, the sacred feminine. And he is standing on a bull. There he is, okay. I think this could even be the rabbit constellation beneath the bull. Because it is a male bull, it wouldn't be sucking a calf. So I'm pretty sure this is the, in, as you have under Taurus, we have the rabbit constellation. It's quite an interesting depiction of the Tree of Life in this one. We haven't had Tree of Life with the, uh, the Pleiades and the wing disc that much. But it's suggesting how this whole system works. That's the wing disc that flies and it has all these lines going through to these other orbs. These orbs, I'm believing, are worlds and suns, planets. This particular one we'll talk about just now. I'm pretty sure this is the world of the gods. And this one down here is our sun and our, our earth. 
that is the portal that connects the two and this is what he is opening with these strange Vajra trident type devices. He's standing on the back of the bull, Taurus. So that is the area where the Pleiades resides, the back of the bull, correct? That's why he's standing there to teach that exact positioning in the cosmic bull space. Uh, Martin mentioned another thing when he found this, Martin from Hungary. He uh, thought this could be the leg of the bull. I'm totally in, in uh, support of the theory because we have the bull's head again. It's behind the bull's head. It's telling more about the story. And if you look closely, they've got the, the planet, the um, stars of the Pleiades pretty much filled in there as well. And it connects back to the strange flame thing in the sky. This is probably part of the cosmic conduit. This piece connects right around to the other end over here and comes to this guy's head. And his head making contact with that strange cosmic energy and he is touching parts of it again connecting to the flying disc type celestial ship. So being above the cosmic tree that these all are the same things here. The cosmic tree is connecting to all these many many suns, many places of life in the universe. The cosmic tree, place of creation and they are nurturing this, this, con this cosmic conduit, a plasma ribbon, call it what you like. And uh, I think this is one that shows everything. I think I pretty much covered all of it. That's a world of the gods in Crescent because of its own sun's light. Absolutely amazing.